I want us to consider tonight just briefly God wiping away all his people's tears. God wiping away all his people's tears. And as it occurs in the text, referring to all tears, we can rightly assume, rightly deduce, that that means all reasons for tears. And so there are just a couple of those that I want us to consider tonight as we think upon them in relation to each of us here. The first is this. God will wipe away all tears for sin. God will wipe away all tears for sin. This text assumes, it is the assumption, as you would go through the scriptures and you would notice all the places where you find God's people shedding tears, it is assumed that the believer, that those who... This is written to those who are reading this. It assumes that you have a heart that feels the weight of sin. That's the assumption of this text. It assumes that your heart is regenerate. It assumes that you are one who feels the weight of sin and that you have at some point or another felt the weight to such a degree that you shed tears. For sin. We find this, at least the spirit of weeping in, Revel- in Ex- uh, Ezekiel, pardon me, Ezekiel chapter 36. You find this in his prophecy there regarding that new birth that would come. In Ezekiel 36, 26, we read of this. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. But then, notice in verse 31, it says this, After that has happened, after the Lord has taken out the stony heart, after He's given the the heart of flesh, the regenerate heart, given the new birth to a sinner, it says in verse 31, Then... Shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations? Now, I don't mean to be morbid and I don't mean to say that we're meant to be walking around in misery. I don't believe that's what the Lord's intending, but we do have to recognize there's an understanding here That there is a burden upon the believer's heart. A burden that is expressed in the language of the Apostle Paul. Oh wretched man that I am. I'm warring with this flesh. And I so desire to be rid of this sin. That so easily besets me Lord. It's that sin that hinders our communion with the Lord. It's that sin that keeps us from being all that we would be for Christ. And it is that that ordinarily will bring forth tears in the believer's eyes at some point. It's not that we're always sobbing. It's not that there are always melancholy and miserable. But there is this understanding that when the Lord impresses this upon us, when we, when we see our sins, With that regenerate heart, you loathe yourselves. That's strong language. You loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities. And it's in those times that we need to remember there is coming a day where God will wipe away all tears. You know what that means? That means there's going to be no sin. Because there won't be any tears There, there can't be any sin there for us to shed tears about. This text assumes that you have a heart that feels...